Well, the Federal Reserve's annual conference in Jackson Hole, it begins today, where officials will be debating on the central bank's next policy move. And that's where we find our very own Peter Barnes, who sat down with Kansas City Fed President Esther George. He's living in the beautiful Jackson Hole. Peter, you have been breaking news left and right here. What do you got for us today? <laughs> Good morning, Sandra. And it's 37 degrees here, but more on oh. that later. Uh, Esther George is the host of this year's Jackson Hole Conference once again. She's a voting member of the F FOMC. Uh, she is a hawk on the committee, and she says that if her outlook for the economy co uh, continues to unfold, she will vote once again to raise interest rates at the Fed's uh, next policy meeting in September. She's already voted to raise rates three times so far this year. She's been the lone voice on that, a, a dissenter at all of those meetings. Uh, she th uh, thinks uh, that, the, uh, uh, that uh, the economy is reaching full employment, and she sees inflation heading to the Fed's 2% target. Listen. In the medium-term forecast, um, I still suspect that we will see inflation moving up, and frankly, we have over the last few months. Uh, begin to see, and by other metrics, it looks like inflation is beginning to stir. So again, I don't think this is an issue of inflation being too high. I think it's an opportunity uh, to begin to normalize interest rates uh, to the benefit of the economy. She's also worried about low interest rates and how they might cause financial instability uh, in the economy. Uh, listen, listen to that part of the interview. The Fed's goal is to make sure we have sustained growth for the long term. And rates that are this low have the potential to create imbalances. They can cause markets to misprice risk. And I think to avoid those kinds of incentives, um, again, not tightening policy uh, to the detriment of the economy, but removing some of this accommodation would be appropriate. Now, we've got her entire uh, interview, seven minutes, uh, being posted to our website, foxbusiness.com, so you can see all of her comments there. But, of course, uh, Sandra, as you mentioned, the big uh, uh, headliner here tomorrow morning is Janet Yellen. Her speech uh, tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock Eastern time. We'll have all the headlines and break those for you uh, as soon as we get them. And w once again, the question is, will the Fed raise start raising rates this year as soon as it's meeting uh, next month. Back to you. As many of the Fed presidents have already indicated, and one to you just last week, mm -hmm. Peter, looks like an appropriate time to That's do right. so, right? So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Peter Barnes, thank you very much for that.